name? My name is Athalie. My name is Mary Jalitu. Main in for shop. How long have you been working in humanitarian logistics? I've been working in the WP supply chain since about 2013. But prior to that, since 2007, I also worked in humanitarian field security. How long have you been working with WFP? 18 years this year. Where were you working before? Uh, before working at the logistics cluster, I was working uh, in the last instance with Goal, an Irish NGO. Why is the logistics cluster's mandate important to the humanitarian logistics community? The mandate is as important, if not more important, than when the cluster approach was initially established. And today, as everybody knows, there are more and more people in need of support from the humanitarian community. And as resources become increasingly scarce, being able to work together to be more efficient and effective are more important than ever. How was your experience at Gold? It was really wonderful. Uh, I mean, I got to experience growth in a lot of areas, as well as interacting with some wonderful field teams. Um, and really interesting, exciting and hard-working people uh, and of course getting the opportunity to interact with the cluster as well. What do you like the most about working with WFP? The operational focus, uh, the people's can-do attitude and I guess the impact, the visible impact that we have on the beneficiaries that we serve. Describe a major achievement during your mandate. Well, the last three years have been very unusual for everybody, everywhere, with COVID coming right the way through the middle of every single aspect of our lives. Um, despite that, I think the fact that all the partners were so generous with their time to come together and work on the new strategy together, the 2022 to 2024 strategy for the logistics cluster was a major achievement and also the associated strategy implementation plan to take it from concept um, to practical um, activity. What do you want to bring as an added value to the logistics cluster in terms of coordination? The cluster is in a really good place in terms of coordination already, so I'm not sure what I can really uh, offer um, my skills and experience, of course, but I think partnership, the collective, is the strength. And so what I'd like to do is, is grow and strengthen that partnership to broaden the base uh, and to be as inclusive with that as possible. What do you think will be the main challenge of being the new coordinator of the Global Logistics Cluster? I don't think that I would qualify them as challenges, but opportunities to uh, look at how we're going to build the next generation of, of uh, uh, humanitarian logistics officers, um, how we're going to enhance our collaboration, how we do things together to do it better. What are the key pillars of the new logistics cluster strategy? Partnering, partnering, partnering. Supporting the field, being prepared for what's happening tomorrow, uh, and sharing, sharing the good and, and the, the good lessons and what we need to improve for the future. What is the logistics cluster doing to enhance green logistics among the humanitarian community? We have a specific project called the REC. I really like the REC project because it's really a cluster initiative. It's not about doing something new because there's a recognition that there's already a lot of green projects really going on out there. And so the REC is about bringing those together and um, harnessing what's already being done, the activities and the knowledge, building on each other's strengths, and then sharing those with the whole community so that everybody can benefit. What are you going to bring in this new function? I hope to bring to this new function both my experience as a logistics officer in NGOs uh, and my dual uh, background within WFP, both in operations and partnership. Uh, but first and foremost, I think I'll bring some passion. Where are you going to work? In Nicaragua. Say goodbye to the team and the partners. Well, I'd rather not say goodbye because I think it's more of a au revoir, arrivederci, or see you again soon. Um, I do think that once you've had an opportunity to work with the cluster in whichever way, shape or form, that stays with you and I'm really looking forward to staying in touch um, with colleagues and partners um, even though I'll be in Nicaragua. So see you soon. So good luck Atali for your new adventure. Bye Atali, thank you so much. <laughs>